Hello everyone, I'm Greg from GamesWithGreg.com and welcome back. Today we're checking out some VTOL VR. We're going to tick, <clears throat> we are going to tick the FA26B, the Wasp, out. And we're actually, we're going to go to the tutorials. And we're going to check out radar today for this video. Alright, so learn how to use the radar to find, track, and lock onto aircraft. The FA-26B is equipped with the powerful forward-facing radar. Let's get our helmet here. So everything's very straightforward with this tutorial. Here we go. Welcome to the radar tutorial for the FA-26. Today you will learn how to use the radar to find and track other aircraft, as well as designate targets for air-to-air -air missiles. First, open the radar MFD page. The radar must be manually powered on using the radar power switch. The display shows you a compressed representation of the radar's 120 degree field of view. The display range can be adjusted using the R plus and R minus buttons. Press the R plus button repeatedly until the as the radar sweeps over other aircraft, they will be displayed as blue icons for friends and orange icons for foes. The left to right scan angle can also be adjusted to allow the radar to scan more rapidly but in a smaller slice of the sky. The number shows the angle in degrees off boresight. Set the radar as the sensor of interest, or SOI. Now you can slew the target designator using your joystick's thumb control. All right, next we're going to grab our joystick, slew the designator over a contact, and press in on the center of the thumb control to start tracking it. You can track up to four contacts while still being able to scan the rest of the sky. We got our friendlies. They will appear as a small circle on your HUD, along with the corresponding number. In order to lock a target for weapons, you can either click the track again using the designator, or press the numbered MFD button on the left. Autopilot disengaged. While the target is locked, the other tracks will continue to be displayed, but the radar will not be able to scan for new targets. Information about the locked target's bearing, range, altitude, airspeed, and aircraft type will appear on the bottom right of the display. Use the unlock button to unlock the target and the clear button to clear the tracks. For close-in engagements, the radar can be switched to boresight mode using the mode button. In this mode, the radar will point straight forward and lock onto the first contact it sees. If the radar is SOI, you can press the joystick thumb control to quickly unlock and find a new target. Now for some weapons practice. Go back to scan mode and find, track, and lock the enemy aircraft. Good. Now arm your weapon system and switch to the AIM-120 radar-guided air-to-air missile. Alright, next all we need to do is, on our controller, press, I believe it's B, that's the top button for me. Okay, on the HUD, the locked target will appear as a small square. The small dot is the shot lead cue. When firing air-to-air -air missiles, aim for the lead cue to help the missile conserve energy as it steers toward the target. The DLZ, or designated launch zone, is displayed on the right side of the HUD. The missile should be fired when the target chevron lies between the min and max range marks. <clears throat> Go ahead and try shooting down the target. Alright, uh, one more thing we could do now is use the visor helmet 
Boom. And now we'll get our altitude and speed as well as, as, well as bearing when we look away from the main HUD. Uh, do be careful, you do have limited missiles, and I did run out of missiles, and I had to restart a couple times. I also had to figure out how to switch, because I was looking over here to switch for weapons. All you have to do is use your button on your controller. All right, the chevron is sort of nearing the positive now. We're just going to chase this dot. Just an easy intercept. Splash, good kill. By tracking multiple contacts, you can fire up to four AIM-120s on separate targets, as long as you maintain line of sight with each of them. When the AIM-120's time to impact counter displays the letter M, it has switched to active homing, and you no longer need to continue tracking it. You can switch to another target, duck into cover, or even shut your radar off. Now try shooting down the rest of the enemy air targets. Okay, we have a lock on three. Excuse me. All right, we'll just swing it around the mountain side here. Okay. Oh, there's one. Is that an ally? Yeah. Why ain't they doing nothing? Pretty fun if you ask me.
shoot. So for the heck of it, let's land. Oh, let's get out of this. Landing gear. Landing gear. Landing gear.